Hello, we're the Rices. Our goal is that through family-focused intentionality, legacy-minded thinking, and being rooted in Christ, that we would lead our family to serve the Lord, and that, that we would encourage your family to do the same. So we hope you're encouraged today. Okay, are we going? Yeah! yeah. We're going to Fort Rock! As we go. We're going to Fort Rock. I don't know if you heard the kids say that, but we're headed to Fort Rock today. Definitely a very cool volcanic rock formation in the desert southeast of Lapine. It took us about an hour to get there, and it was definitely worth the drive. This is a rock formation in what's believed to be a giant old lake bed. And so it's a great opportunity to talk to your kids about geology and the history of the world and the flood of Noah as recorded in the Bible. And then think about what this area would have looked like if it was covered with water at some period of time after the flood and this volcano was erupting in this place, forming these layers and layers of rock and then the water goes away and this massive rock formation is left exposed in the middle of the desert. Now this was a very family friendly hike. There's a great parking lot and restrooms and many, many trails to choose from for kind of all skill levels and abilities. So we would definitely encourage you to come come in the spring or late in the fall or early in the morning because there is not much shade out here. You are definitely in the desert. Now this is late April when we're doing this hike and we're actually camping in Lapine. And when we left, we had layers on, sweatshirts and coats. And when we got out here, we quickly shed those layers as it was significantly warmer and the sun was definitely shining. Now, we got a chance on this hike to do some dangerous things carefully. And you may have heard us talk about this before, but this is one of the things that we think it's important to teach our kids, to have a sense of adventure, to get out and not be afraid to see something cool or to try something new, but to do it with a sense of caution, to do it in a way that is listening to instructions, assessing danger, and making sure that they are doing it in a safe manner. Another thing that we have gotten to do on this hike is really see some of the awesome wildlife and wildflowers that you would be surprised to find in such an arid and barren type of climate. But as we saw recently at the High Desert Museum, there is tons of life. God has created so many things that live in this environment. And so we saw Indian paintbrush, and we saw lizards, and we saw some other flowers that we have to look up so that we need to find out what they are. But it's incredible to see all the things that God has made. We got to have my parents along with us on this hike, and my mom in particular is really great at spotting and knowing about different types of flowers. But here we found one, these very small white flowers, and they were new to all of us. And so we took some pictures and we're gonna find out what they are. Now, about this point in the hike, we'd gone three quarters of the way around the inside of Fort Rock, and there was a split in the trail. And so some of us are gonna head up towards the rim to look out towards the west. Now, if you saw as we were driving up, there is a pretty steep cliff on the west side. And then inside, as you see, there's more sediment has collected and it's not as steep and rocky. But we decided to follow this little branch of a trail that headed up towards the rim. And look at these views. We're only halfway up here and already you can see the height that we're gaining. Now, this was the first place that we came to a crevice in the rock where we could peek out over the edge and let me tell you it is straight down but look how far you can see what an incredible view towards the west from Fort Rock sagebrush and rocks mountains in the distance but 
an incredible formation and an incredible view. Now, we kept the kids a few feet away from the edge, and it was a good opportunity to think about how in our daily lives we teach obedience and listening right away, and so it makes us able to do some of these things and know that everybody's going to be paying attention. Now we went back to where the trail had split and found another way that went even further up. The trail got a little rocky, but it was well worth it. From here, we can see all the way down to the bottom and at the far side, all the way back to where our car is parked. Now, this spot really had the view. There was a nice wide opening where we could see all to the west. We had the kids crawl up towards the ledge so that they weren't going to lose their balance over it. But that cliff went straight down. No guardrails here. There's some amazing rock formations up here. And we could see where the snow collects during the winter. And then as it melts, it all runs down into the center of this. Again, the rocks we saw up here were amazing. Now, we safely negotiated our way down the cliffs and back into the inside to join the main trail. And we just had to drive around to the outside where we could see some of the viewpoints where we had climbed to and see how tall those cliffs were that we had been on top of. Anyway, I hope you guys take this as encouragement to get out and explore somewhere with your family and think about the wonders of God's creation. Have a great day. Mm -hmm.